Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Here we are for finals day at KIT 2017. I am Jonathan O, and joining me, the one and the only, Mr. Tasty Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready. Top eight, all set, stacked, picked out. We got some great matches coming up for you guys. This has been three out of five the entire time. But first off, we're going to head over to Tyson on the stage for player introductions, and then we're going to get started. All right, guys, can I get some noise from some Street Fighter Five? Kind of quiet. Can I get some noise from Street Fighter Five? There we go. There we go. We're going to get this going. We're going to winner's top eight action. First from Texas. Also, winner of the KOF 14 tournament. Can I get Donkey? All right, from New York, next level battle circuit regular, Pi Smug. And we see that uh, Smug Definitely didn't do too well in the team tournament. Got beat up by Eli the Curry. Came back, beat Eli the Curry in the tournament, and now he is in a winner's side top eight. Sitting next to him, Donke. Now, I don't know what Donke is going to do because he said he was only going to play Gaul and not run back to Vega. But he definitely played Vega to get into top eight. I was there. Yep. Um, how do you think this matchup goes? Well, I think for Vega, a lot of the things he's going to try to poke Vega. Obviously, he's going to try to poke Balrog a lot. Balrog... You know, he can get through some of those fireballs that Guy was throwing. Right. I think he has a better bet using Guy just because of the defensive options it allows him to get. And Vega's very susceptible to getting rushed down. Yep. Has no reversals in the corner. Sure, he can mix it up with two different V reversals. The one the one flip backwards or the two flip backwards. But really, that isn't much to work with there. As we saw, he can play a very aggressive style and just have Balrog. Because Balrog also doesn't have great reversals. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you get locked down, you you have yeah. a really hard time playing it through Vega. True. That's 100% true. Um, Vega is definitely a, even though he does work a little more on space, I feel like range-wise, he definitely has the advantage. Um, I believe um, Donkey actually fought uh, a Balrog to get into top eight. And oh, okay. he kept neutral jumping him at a closer range. Now, I feel like neutral jumping with Vega is going to be really good as well as his walk speed is, is definitely going to help him out in this matchup. Um, yes. Smug knows the game plan is to get in. That's going to be the hard part. But we've seen Smug make some crazy conversions, some crazy confirms, and just play solid all weekend. So I'm interested to see how this 3 out of 5 set's going to go. Yeah, Smug, no stranger to combos, as we know him from Street Fighter 4 with the craziest Dudley combo. Right. Still bringing those out with Dudley here. Or excuse me, with Borrow <laughs> here. So our first match of Street Fighter 5, Pi Smug on the left side, Donkey on the right side. Let's see what happens here. And we saw before, Donkey definitely uses a... He likes to throw out buttons from a distance. Yep. And that's definitely Oof. gotten him in trouble a few times. Not close enough to confirm that combo. Yeah, and there was a uh, neutral jump that you were just talking about there. He got it right off the bat. He's pushed into the corner, but still finds a way to push himself out. Slowly getting into the corner. Smug just walking forward, essentially. Oof. And that neutral again, jump again. Neutral gun, I'm telling you, dude, He ha like the thing is about it that Balrog is completely linear in a lot of instances. So staying on the ground is definitely going to benefit him. That neutral jump right out of range of dash punch is something you definitely want to look for. There's the activation. And this is really all that Balrog needs oh my to be back in oh. the game. I'm just saying. Like, he's... He's one of those. He's one of those characters that definitely is explosive on damage-wise, but really close to taking it right now. Thought it was going to be an overhead. It definitely would have worked. Nice block. He blocked the first overhead. He got all the momentum oh, from wow. it. And look at that, closing it out with the throw. Donkey playing very strong this fight. Smug's aggressive offense was in the corner most of that round. Two neutral jumps got him out of there, and Smug very consistent with those anti-airs. Still Ooh. gets the crush counter. Is going to use the meteor. Will not. Still keeping him in the corner. However, Donkey finds his way out with that stand short. Nice. I like the fact that he's being a little more. Oh, see now, and now he's anticipating him. Yeah, you can, now he's anticipating. Now, neutral jump is a good thing, but you have to remember that you still have clean counters from almost every character oh. in the cast. And now that claw's gone. Jumping. Oh, oh. He's oh trying to go for the roundhouse throw. and threw him out of the dash punch, throwing smoke into the corner. A pretty good spot for Donkey. Oh, good block. Checking his ankles. 
Smug canceling into the V-Trigger, and this is where we saw once oh, again Smug trying to block. push him in the corner. Getting himself a little bit more into the corner now. Just jumping at Smug. Nice break there from Donkey. And one thing from Donkey is that if he gets that hit, he's definitely going to burn Critical Art. He's not afraid to do it at all. Anything from... Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Anything for Smug is going to do it right now. We definitely saw matches yesterday where he would get into that range, shimmy out, and hit oh him with sweep, but just stands there, and that was definitely a throw. I would bet money. That was that just that a, was a, a very tense moment right there. Donkey didn't want to answer because he didn't want his trading and losing off of that. Mm -hmm. But it's like, nice. Starting off the round, confirming into that critical art. That's going to be about 40%, and he's going to get a safe jump off of this. Let's see what he goes for. If he does so, yes, he does. Nice. Keeping that pressure up. Oh, gets hit by the lower. Here, here comes Smug. All he needs is that one opening, and then he's going full offense mode. Nice neutral jump. Gets the throw. Screen reset on position-wise, but oh, nice. Baits out the V-reversal. And I feel like that's another thing you want to remember while fighting Balrog. I don't Ooh. want him to get triggered. So I want him to have to oh, be. Oh, God. And that's that something else you have to look for. you got to look for that over here. But Smug kind of just brain farted there for a second. But he activates that V-trigger. Let's see what he goes for here. Just catches him low. Donkey pushing buttons to Smug, taking that first game. And that is the just relentless oh, offense you can see out of Bog. As soon as he activates that V-Trigger, you basically are just hitting like Donkey once you get hit by those overheads. You're just looking at the ceiling thinking, why did I let that happen? Yeah. And now Ramasam up on the stage helping, giving Donkey some pointers. Donkey was playing pretty well. He found a lot of success with his neutral jumps. It's just Smug, once he got the offense going, he didn't let Donkey, he didn't allow him very much time to think. He just was relentlessly trying to maul him down, and we was punishing him for things he was trying to do, like neutral jumps and such. Nice, finding the target, two in a row, getting him into the other overhead, corner, another no. overhead. Very close to stun. Donkey is just not ready for the speed that, that Smug is trying to play, but here we go, finding his way out. Using nice. that V-trigger. Potpourri, nice setup, gets out of the corner. Ooh. Nice neutral jump again, finds a hit, and look at that stun bar. Overhead? No. I would have did an overhead. Nice, nice like patient it. here for Smug. That stun bar still looking pretty good. Gets the slam. And if you're if you're Donkey here, you gotta watch out for the target combo because he's gonna target. There it is. Okay, he blocks it. Good for him. Oh, nice standing light kick and then a crouching light kick. Oh man, really good. Yeah, so Donkey just staying calm, under pressure, blocking that low on the target combo, allowing Smug to activate. And nice Smug, answering back with an anti air, pushing him to the corner. But Donkey's been in this position before. He's been here like for most of this set so yeah. far, and he's been able to fight his way out. He needs to be careful with some of those trades because his stun bar is really high and Boxer does a lot of damage. Oh, nice to get in the range. Oh! Oh, okay. it opens him up low with the spin. Just nice waking up with buttons is not afraid, though. Doesn't want to use that critical art just yet. The scaling with the jabs and the shorts would have taken a little bit off of it. Donkey's still trying to find his way out. Nice, using that wall bounce to evade that anti-air. He needs to be really careful right now. And there's the throw. This is, this is where Smug wants you to be. He wants you to be in this situation where he has a lot less to lose than you. Oh, and we saw that goodness. last night. Dash in, dash back out. Donkey, one of those people, when you're playing, he likes to make eye contact with you. So yep. after that, you saw him look at Smug like, okay, that was good. Yeah, put him on ice skates right there. Now finding the target combo to start off the round. Tried to go low, but still pushing Donkey into the corner. This is exactly what we were talking about before the game. Donkey is trying to fight out of this corner and just can't get out. There we go. Is he going to use critical art? Yes, he will. His stun bar is going to be at zero after this as well as he's going to get a setup. I wonder to see if he'll go for something or if he'll try to take off the claw and be more aggressive. Just double dash forward. Okay. I like it. That actually gave him a little more, a better screen position. He got him out of too close to that corner. But here's Smug pushing him right back in this corner. With a bunch of dash punches, crouching, oh. medium kick, and there's the V reverse. Yeah, watch out for that white life. Oh, oh open my him goodness. up low again after the spin. He has one more chance. V reversal. Oh, nice whiff punish on that crouching strong. So if you are Donkey here, what do you do? Do you go to Guile or do you try to stay strong with Donkey? Because he or with Vega, he has been winning rounds. It's just when he has found himself in the corner, he cannot find his way out. I think what he needs to do is, now that, that Smug is aware that you're going to neutral jump, he's like, hey, well, you're definitely going to neutral jump. Mm -hmm. Now Smug is playing the range where he has to walk up a little forward. But if he's walking forward, he can't charge back. Yep, that exactly. means you get the chance as Vega to stick those long-reaching normals out there, make them deal with it. You see that he was going a little bit to crouching medium kick, but imagine if he went to crouching strong. Mm -hmm. He even tried the anti-air with a crouching fierce at one point in right. time. Did not work out, but it's the thought that matters. Um, well, not really because you still lost the round, <laughs> but um, I think that's the natural transition. You have yep. to make sure that one, if you don't have to deal with dash punch, mm -hmm. you're okay. That means you don't have to worry about neutral jumping, but him walking forward means that 
Power Walk does not have any options other than to hit buttons. Right, and right. you have further reaching buttons. Exactly. So I feel like Vega can definitely win it out. But, I mean, he's going to go to Guile. It's not a bad thing, but he still has spin to get through projectiles unless exactly. he's in trigger. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. I was about to say, if we were to see Guile, I would have preferred to see Guile first so that you're not going to your alternate yeah. to try to bail you out. But still sticking with Vega here, it seems like he just needs to make more of the opportunities he gets. He'll get one offensive front, and then he'll expect a neutral. And we've seen Smoke as whip punish, and then push him to the corner with those dash punches. Talk, let's see if he can keep himself out of the corner this time. So once again, you see him holding this down back right now, and that's when you want to go to those neutral jumps and stay in range. Nice sweep, gets the throw. Nice pressure here from Donke. Nice buttons again, getting that rolling crystal flash. My goodness, now Smug is just See, now that's so at that range, happy. that's when you want to hit that button because now you know he's standing there. He's hitting buttons. He's not charging. Nice. Catches him dashing forward. Ooh, and Smug is going for the jump back OS, and it's just catching his head. So Donkey looking a lot better this time. He's trying to play the normals game, and as we know, Vega with really long-reaching normals, very good normals. We see him using that stand medium kick to duff the dash punches. That's something he's been doing in this game. I wonder if that's something Ramasama told him. Yeah, I mean, that and is a oh, oh, nice beam reversal. No potpourri for me. Keeps yep. him in the corner, and here comes that pressure from Smug. And every time he's in this oh, position, my goodness, he that's has it. so much meter. Oh, wow. He has so much meter and resources. Tries to go for the neutral jump again, and there's the jab as the anti air. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you saw now Smug made an adju a preemptive adjustment. He was like, I know what you want to do. You want right. to get out of the corner. Now I'm going to oh that neutral jump again. So Smug definitely willing to spend meter and resources to make sure Donkey doesn't have any options. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, I don't know what so that was. So he was buffering it a little bit too fast, I assume. And instead of having it come out, if he hit a button, it just came out anyways. But nice, getting out of the corner with a crush counter sweep. And Smug still just jumping back. Okay, see. And this is what I'm talking about. You see, he came in because you knew he wanted to get that trigger activation. Nice. Right, right. Nice combo. Going to waste Whoa. a little time on that trigger. Thought he was going to go for a throw right there. Patience from both players here. And now Donkey once again in the corner getting hit with that overhead. Smug using all of the meter. Look at that damage. Keeps himself alive with that tech. But once again, Smug just dashing in. 3-0 Smug. And like I said, it's not like he did really bad. It was just the fact that he couldn't close out those rounds. Balrog is a very explosive character. Yep. Um, and, and he's definitely one of those characters that you do not want to get triggered. So if that means you putting a lot of pressure on him to make sure he spins that bar to get out, I feel like that's one of the better options versus a character like Balrog. Now, there are other characters that I feel like are the exact same way. For instance, Yurian. Yurian is oh, one yeah. of those characters you do oh, not yeah. want him to get any kind of meter. So 